What's up guys, Wayna here and welcome back to my channel. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Yes. New video guys and a new series. So I am super excited because we have a new series on this channel where we're going to make each other spaces over or give each other ideas. And um, I kind of thought of this because a few of you guys hit me up in a DM and you asked me, what would you do with the space? So this video is the first video of Design Talk on Tuesdays, guys. We're going to be talking about the wall nook. If you guys are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me, then the bell, then click always so you'll get my videos when I upload. And guys, if you have a little small apartment that you want to stay in and stack your money up and not feel like you just, oh, I live here, this is the channel for you, okay? This is the channel for you. Change your space, change your life. It is the only way. I'm going to coin that. You deserve a beautiful space. This is the place to make all that happen. So smash that subscribe button, guys. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so my first IG friend to hit me up is Andy from Austin, Texas. And Andy has a wall nook. If you're not familiar with what a wall nook is, I will insert a picture here. But basically, it's those little niches in the wall. And those things kind of are tricky to design. But don't worry. Andy, don't worry, I have a few ideas that I want to share with you today. And if you all have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below for Andy also. Um, I don't personally have any of those nooks in my living space, um, so these are just ideas. But hey, you may do something different and I didn't think of it, so definitely share. And if you guys are interested in being the next person to have your space featured on the channel, then, then I'm going to tell you how to enter your room at the end of this video. So stay tuned and watch all the way to the end so I can let you know just how to do that. Andy's Corner 5112. That is such a cute Instagram name, by the way. So let's, let me start off by saying I love your space. It is just so clean. It has that little um, kind of Spanish flair. I really, really like your space, and um, I think I know what you're trying to do, but we'll, we'll see. So right now, it looks like Andy has a nook with some vases, some shelves, some artwork. Um, there's something plugged into that space. I don't know if that's like a, 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 a router or something like that, but we have a lot of things going on, and I think that there are a few design elements that she could implement to kind of like you know bring it up to the next level i mean i think it's cute honestly the way that it is but if you just wanted some ideas or whatever we're going to dive into those ideas and just see what else we can come up with. whenever i am dealing with shelf or a closet or anything that's you know recessed lighting is a must for me y'all lighting is key if you don't even have furniture in your house and you have beautiful lighting, you're winning. But yeah, those are a good idea and it will work for you because you have the outlet right there. So number one, I would add lighting. Number two, if you look at this picture really, really good, Andy has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen items in that small space. So when you look at it, you really can't get a good picture of what it's you know what's there it's nothing really like grounding the space like just like boom this is my area you know it's just like a lot of little knickknacks I think that if you were to use larger scale items then that would definitely help to kind of anchor the space one you're not using you're not spending so much money you know buying these little eyes and ends it's just one big solid piece and it's making a statement and when it's time to move, you don't have a bunch of little things to pack up. You just take that one nice solid piece, that statement piece, and you roll out. <gasps> Tea break. Oh, they got a lot of honey in it. Okay, I need some water. So I would use, when I say a large scale items, like, you know, if you have a particular favorite color, they have like really tall 
colored um, gl glass vases, that would be a good idea. Um, what else? Those glass pillars with, say, candles, that would be a good idea. You could go to maybe like Kirkland's because you have kind of like that, that arch, that Spanish arch. Maybe get some pick a picture or some artwork that has like the similar style of arch put a large piece of art in that space you could just lean it right up against there and if you did that if you leaned a piece of art up against the the wall with a light hanging on it you'd be upgrading tremendously but not only that you would hide your little router nobody would even know that it's there i like that idea uh what else could you do you could go to Ikea, get some lac shelves if you wanted to have more shelving. And what I would do, first of all, I would measure the depth to make sure that it fits. So you could do that. Um, you could display your favorite collection. I don't know, maybe you have a, a bomb collection of whatever, and that would be a really good place to, to display it. You could add greenery. That's always nice. And then you also could paint. I don't know if that is an option for you, but... If you painted the back of the the nook, then it would kind of give it like that that recessed feeling where it would make it feel a little bit um, and give it like that contrast look. I'm not a really a big fan of it, but that's an idea. So I would definitely invest in some type of either rechargeable light or I would, um, since you have the electrical outlet right there, I would even go to Ikea and maybe do one of the little... Um, the little puck lights and I'll show you guys that too because I have a bunch that I'm going to be installing in my little wardrobe system as soon as I go to the as is section and get the rest of them. What would I do to quickly transform the space maybe like in a weekend or something like that? First thing I would do is I would remove everything out of the space then I would take measurements. I would measure from top to bottom side to side and I would measure the depth. That way when I go to the store, I'm able to pick out the correct size of whatever because I know the measurements and take a tape measure with you. And then I would ask myself, what do I need this space for? Is it just for display, like decorating purposes or do I need extra storage? Because again, you could get a big enough frame or a canvas picture or whatever and you have that little ledge you could use command strips to kind of adhere it and then that way you could pull it off that whole area could be another area for storage for you so that's an idea too but first you have to ask yourself what do you need the space for so i hope that these tips help um, it's you know it's a cute little small space like i said it's already cute but if it's something else that you you know had in mind and you just couldn't you know kind of come up with the idea then I hope that one of these helps and I hope that you guys drop some comments to help Andy out also I would use my floor as a, a decorating space also you could put something in that corner because I don't know if you have bar stools um, at the little ledge your ledge is probably as, as shallow as mine and I don't put bar stools up to mine but um, you could put something underneath there also. Greenery would be really nice in that corner. And if you guys are interested in having your space featured next, then I'm going to tell you what to do. First, you have to like this video, comment down below, hashtag www.fixthisspace, and share this video or any other video to your social media. And the reason I say your social media is because I realized that I left a few people out just by doing it on Instagram. But as of right right now, I don't have Facebook. I can't stand Facebook. But I guess I'll have to get one so that I can connect with everybody and, you know, keep everybody included. But if you share it to your social media, like it and comment, then you will be entered to win. And I will just have you guys email me if you are selected and we'll go about the process that way that is all i have for this video i think it went well let me know in the comments down below if you guys like these type of videos if you think it's helpful um keep it respectful keep it cute and um and always remember guys be you be beautiful be chic on a budget and i'll talk to you guys on the next upload
Bye, guys.